Hi, I'm Robin Barnes with the Professional Ski Instructors of America Alpine Team. I'm going to share with you some details about putting on your skis and boots that just might make your day a little bit more comfortable and therefore easier. Okay, so warm boots and the best socks to wear skiing. I like to start my day with a warm ski boot. So if you rent it away from the mountain, make sure you don't leave it in your trunk overnight, bring it into your house or condo and carry it up to the mountain with you so that you start the day with a warm one. If you rent your boots at the mountain, go ahead and bring it into the lodge while you go around and get your lift passes and sign up for your lessons, just so that it's warm when you start your day. The other thing that's really important is the socks that you wear. I like to put my ski socks on right before I put my ski boots on. That way I haven't driven to the resort, had breakfast and whatnot in my socks and, and putting on a little bit of a sweaty sock before I start my day. If I start the day with a dry, my feet are gonna stay warmer longer. It's nice to have a ski sock. If you don't have a ski sock, a dress sock will work. Something that's maybe a synthetic fiber or wool versus cotton and that doesn't have like a hiking sock ribbing along the, the sides of it that could create circulation issues. So go ahead and put your ski sock on and, and pull it up nice and snugly. If there's wrinkles or seams inside of the boot over the course of the day, it could create blisters or circulation issues. Um, so pull it up nice and tightly, have a warm boot, and you'll set yourself up for success. Okay, so putting on your ski boot should be pretty simple, but take your time going into it. Just go ahead and make sure all the buckles are undone on the boot, the Velcro strap, if there is one, it's called a power strap, and then put the boot flat on the floor Pull the tongue open so there's a little extra space in there and that'll open the plastic shell part. And then just slide your foot into it, pull the tongue out to the side, your foot will slide right in. Once you've gone ahead and slid your foot into the boot, take a couple of minutes just to make sure that the tongue is seated right in between the two sides of the liner of the boot so that it doesn't get, doesn't get caught and doesn't make the boot uncomfortable. Then the upper cuff of the boot, make sure the side without the buckles is underneath and then put the buckle side over top. Sometimes they have a tendency to kind of get crisscrossed like that, which would make the boot perform a little bit strangely. Um, so again, part without the buckles goes underneath. And go ahead and buckle. Some boots have three buckles, some have four. Doesn't really matter, just buckle the boots kind of loosely. Um, and go ahead and just stand up and flex the boot a little bit. Flex your knee forwards, and that'll make sure your heel goes back into the back of the boot. And you can wiggle your toes. If that feels pretty good, go ahead and sit back down again and just cinch these top two buckles up a little bit tighter and put the strap through the little loop. If your boot has one, if it doesn't, don't worry about it. Some do, some don't. And then if you buckle these nice and snug, it'll kind of pull your heel and lock your heel back and give you a great stance for skiing. These two buckles over the front of the foot, we don't need to buckle them super tightly. There's some nerves that go across of the top of the foot and we wanna make sure we don't cut off circulation or create pins and needles feeling. So they can have a little bit of tension on the buckles, but you don't wanna have them too tight. So that feels like it's on pretty well. Then I wanna take whatever my base layer is and just either fold it up on top of the boot or over, over top of it this way, but I don't wanna have it tucked inside of my boot. Again, I don't wanna have seams, things like that that create blisters or uncomfortable spots. And then this powder cuff that a lot of ski pants have, despite a lot of people think it should go inside of the boot, what it's designed to do is go over the top of your boot on the outside to prevent any moisture or snow from going inside. Pull your ski pants over top of it, stick the other boot on and then you'll be good to go. So you made it out onto the snow and now's the time to click into your skis and put them on. So this is the break of the ski. Usually one is above the other. Just slide that one up and the skis will come apart pretty nice and easily. Go ahead and just drop them down on the snow, one beside the other facing forwards. And then I like to just stand over and straddle the ski I'm going to put on. So you wanna just make sure there's no snow caked in your binding, otherwise it'll be hard to put on. Um, and also make sure that the bottom of your boot doesn't have snow caked on the bottom of it. The best way to do that is just like you would scrape the mud off your shoe before you walked in your house if you're out playing outside. Just scrape the toes, scrape the heel. And then I'm just gonna slide the front of my boot and the front of my binding, just slide it forwards, turn around and take a peek at my heel. When it looks like it's lined up, boom, press down and I'm in. Same thing with the other foot. Boot is clear of snow. Toe goes in, I turn around and look at my heel and click on in and I'm ready to go skiing. When it's time to take your skis off, go ahead and just turn around and look at the back part of the binding, stick the ski pole against it and press kind of down and back simultaneously. That'll open it up and you can go ahead and take your ski boot out. Once you have a free boot, if you wanna just step down, use your ski boot or your ski pole, either way it'll get you out of your bindings. 
So sometimes when we're skiing, we crash or we fall. When that happens, if you ever find that this part of your binding is popped up, simply press down on it with your hand, that'll open it up, and then you can go ahead and stick your boot in it again. So you're coming in after a great day of skiing on the slopes. It's time to take your ski boots off. So we're basically gonna reverse the whole process. Pull your ski pant leg up out of the way, the powder cuff, pull it out from the boot, get your base layer out of the way. If your boot has one of these Velcro straps, go ahead and peel the Velcro strap back and scooch it out of the way. And go ahead and completely unbuckle all of the buckles. Kind of scooch them off to the side so they don't get caught and rebuckle themselves. And then pull your foot right underneath you, sort of press on the back of the boot, knee goes forward, and your foot should slide out pretty simply. There you go, voila. Especially if you're gonna ski tomorrow, you wanna make sure that your boots get warm overnight. So bring them into your house, place them near a heater, certainly not too close to a fireplace, but someplace where they'll dry out properly so that the next day your feet again are, are warm and comfortable. If you do have these power straps on your boot, a pretty cool feature is you can line the Velcro of the straps up, kind of stick one boot to the other boot or one strap, and voila, you have a great easy way to carry your boots. You can carry them in your hands, sling them over your shoulders so your hands are free to carry the rest of your gear. For more tips and to learn more about skiing and snowboarding, check out our articles and videos. I really look forward to seeing you out there. <laughs>